add that to your latest weather. All right, Al, All thanks right. a lot. Let's get to today's take three. We want to start in Boston. Where else could we start as that investigation goes on that Natalie was talking about? Yeah. want to look back a little bit at the weekend and some of the tributes that were paid beginning in London at the marathon there. A moment of silence, 30 seconds That's before right. the beginning of the race. A lot of the runners there wearing black ribbons to pay tribute. And we saw this not just in London, but That's right. around the world. That's yeah. right. A couple cool. of runs here in New York City as well. Yeah. And meanwhile, uh, also you saw the Boston Red Sox game that this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Was a lot really of great amazing. Yeah. Great moments there. And first, just starting with the uniforms, yep. they replaced mm -hmm. the Red Sox on the front with yes. just Boston. Yep. Everybody feeling the Boston strong. And then Neil Diamond coming out singing that song, Sweet Caroline. In the Caroline. eighth inning, right? Came out. It's the uh, sort of the anthem of the Red Sox, Sweet Caroline. Take a listen. <laughs> that was a great moment, and we have to point out Neil Diamond called the Red Sox yes. switchboard. He just Took surprised the them. Yes. He surprised them, showed up there for the eighth inning and said, Hey, can I sing? And there you have Imagine it. Imagine being on the other end of that call. This yeah. is Neil Diamond. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is yeah. Neil sure. Diamond. Yeah, I got your Holly yeah. Holly right here. <laughs> yeah, right. And it's Boston. They're not going to buy that. Yeah, but you know what's nice about all this is that it really brings people together. Yes. Totally. And it makes sure them feel more of a community. And people really, I think at a time where we're so separated with Twitter and Facebook and mm -hmm. all of the social media, it just makes people want to hug each other yep. and yeah. be together. It's a, shame. it's a shame it took this, but absolutely. It, it is true. As absolutely. Yeah. The great uh, Mike Barnacle of Boston said Fenway was like a basilica in the back bay over the weekend. Yeah. People just getting That's together. That's a great way to put it. And by the way, David Ortiz, the slugger known yeah. as Big yeah. Poppy, Big Poppy. Poppy. gave yeah. a pregame speech that has now turned into the most popular t-shirt in New England. Here's what he said. With bleeps. We bleeped. <laughs> this is our City. <laughs> and nobody gonna dictate our freedom. Stay strong. Thank you. So this is our blanking city is the catchphrase. Right. The uh, head of the FCC, by the way, tweeted out and said, I stand with Big Poppy <laughs> yes. and the people of Boston. Yes. Here it is right here. He go. spoke from the heart. I stand <laughs> I with Big Poppy. Because so. you know that the FCC could sometimes crack down on sure. these things. Yeah, it was so. televised. There you go. There was yeah. a moment. It was emotion. And there were kids in the audience. I think yeah. that was why. Yeah. 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 It, it came from the heart. There's no question about it. One other thing we just want to point out, Carrie Sanders did a really neat piece about some young girls, 9 and 10-year-olds yeah. in Massachusetts who set up a lemonade stand. Mm -hmm. Thought they'd raise a couple of bucks for Martin Richard and his family. Mm -hmm. Turns out now they're into something like 5,000 wow. bucks. That's amazing. And going. And going. Yeah, that's fantastic. People that's wonderful. Lemonade. So some, some bright spots in the middle of all Absolutely. this terrible news. Yeah. All right, here's a turn to take two. Uh, Reese Witherspoon, you may have heard, arrested over the weekend, apologizing now for some strange behavior. She was in Atlanta with her husband. Her husband was driving. He was mm -hmm. pulled over. Uh, on suspicion of DUI, his blood alcohol level thought to be reported, I guess, to 139. There's the mug shot there. Reese, I guess she, the, she got a little heated. Uh, apparently, uh, allegedly, according to the police, they say she, you know, said, do you know who I am? Yep. She was You're probably find out scared, who I am. though, too. Well, well she, she was scared. She, and she, she did get scared. scared. You get scared. And I she also said she, had, look, they had had a bit much to drink. And, you know, look, she, she made, made a mistake. mistake. She made right. a mistake. She's she apologized. She owned up to it. Yeah. She pulled the she old, do you know who I am? She said, you're going to find out. You're going to yeah. be in the it's national It's going to be in the news. news. Well, she right. was right on that. Unbecoming. Yes. This is her statement, by the way. She said, I clearly had one drink too many. I'm deeply embarrassed about the things I said. I have nothing but respect for the police, and I'm very sorry for my behavior. Okay, so let's move on. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't have pegged her, though, for the don't you know who well, I am I, type. Well, but you know what? So she had a bad day. <laughs> it was the booze talk. Couple, sure. Okay, let's go, let's go to take three. This is a great story, especially if you're in our field. This is the kind of commitment we should be seeing oh, every gosh. single day. Yes. Dedication. Yeah. A news reporter in China about to Nothing get married. Sacred. She's in her wedding dress. Getting she's, made up. She's getting yes. made up. It's wedding day on yeah. Saturday. Natalie just reported on this earthquake in Sichuan province in China. She gets out of the chair, races, and reports on the story in her wedding dress. That's pretty she did about impressive. 10 minutes of interview. Interviews, in fact, uh, interviewed some survivors there while she was holding up the hem of that beautiful white dress. She yes, and the veil. That's right. She's got the whole thing going. Later on, she tossed the microphone. Somebody caught it. I want to know what her husband felt like. Well, she was well, there. She made it to the ceremony. She reported for 10 minutes. I know, and went imagine to if you're marrying her and, she, and yeah. she's well, gone. Where are like, the priorities? When duty calls, yeah. though, I Actually, guess. Actually, she broke it know? off with her husband. She married the cameraman. <laughs> Wow. Well, see, you know, that, that's a good plan, because they can do that together, you see? This sounds, like a, 
Jennifer Aniston. She movie got married somehow. really quickly, Isn't by the way. The ceremony, the ceremony was really quick, and then, and then she, she went back. She went back and continued her reporting. So wow, yeah, that's <laughs> dedication. That's amazing. Truly, a little bonus take for you. This is Earth Day, as we mentioned today. Uh, it's Earth Week as well at mm -hmm. NBC Universal. So to celebrate, we're devoting this full hour teaching you ways to enjoy life. While keeping it green, fashion, entertainment, cooking, we're going to cover mm -hmm. all that all in this that. hour. All and on outside. Twitter, all outside, we're asking you to share with us some of your favorite ways to bring a little kind to the environment. Here's some of what you said. R.D. Copeland tweeted us, I build straw, bale, and earth plaster homes. Can you explain what that means? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, he's got two pink brothers. <laughs> uh, and then this wolf shows up. There it is. Earth plaster. <laughs> It's just really <laughs> yeah. for what yeah. he's doing. Yeah, okay. We do. Okay. Earth we do. Okay. Okay. Good. Just don't it down. Smells good too. Another yeah. one from Lindsay Nagel says her favorite way to save the planet involves using cloth, diapers, yeah. and wipes. I heard about that when I had my daughter. Did you? And use then them? what happened? I, I, I think I tried it for like two days. No, because you have to wash like them and a I lot of washing. The smell and the sinks full of you know what? Yes. And I was like, Why no. do you hate the environment, Jada? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Willie. Uh, Jada, by the way, knows being green is a year-round deal. Since last fall, she's been working with kids in an elementary school in L.A. to plant a garden and grow their own food. That's terrific. How did this come about? So what I what I did with um, in partnership with my agency, William Morris Endeavor, is that we. Mm. We adopted this school in Compton, California. It's Foster Elementary, and there's a lot of actual kids who are foster kids in the school. And what I really wanted to do, truly, was just allow them to have a pleasant, fun, educational experience, an inspiring experience when they go to school. Because I think a lot of kids yeah. don't like to go to school, and mm -hmm. I wanted to beautify the school somehow. Mm -hmm. And I found a great area, and I built this garden, and they they just grow all these wonderful things. And a lot of these kids don't really know what vegetables are. A lot They're of eating think, better now. Yeah. They grew a ton of zucchini, huge zucchini, and they made zucchini bread out of it, and all of a sudden, they are now in love with zucchini. Right. So I just feel like it's just a different way to introduce, you know, all the wonderful things that we have that a lot of kids don't realize where they come from. Very That's great. Every day. That's it looks yeah. beautiful too, and you're going to be back later in the hour to cook yeah. with us off the living wall. We're taking yes. herbs off you the wall. You and I are cooking together. All right, let's do it. Watch out. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes, Jada. Coming up next, going green in style with some eco-friendly fashion. Nice. That's right. That's right after I can't this. Can't wear to wear the herbs. Wait to wear all the herbs all over. <laughs>